Okay, it's coming. Am I gonna stay overnight? Hello, so my wife and I are gonna go check on the baby today. She's gonna get an ultrasound. We wanna just do a checkup, see how she's doing. But let's check in on my wife and see how she's doing. Hello. Hello. I just finished getting ready. I like getting ready for her appointments. I feel like it's such a special event. <laughs> I know, I know, so, it's exciting. I like getting ready for her. Makes me happy. I look forward to seeing her. I know, me too, but it's sad. I don't get to see her live. Oh, so sad. Well, I don't get to go into the appointment with you. But you'll FaceTime. We'll FaceTime and I'll record it. Yeah. All right, so I'm outside in the car waiting for my wife. She's inside. Seeing the doctor right now, getting an ultrasound. We've had to come every week now uh, because we're checking on the baby, making sure she's good. You know, the abdomen was, was smaller. It was normal, but it was on the smaller side of normalcy. So we're just doing a, a routine checkup, ultrasound, make sure the, the blood's flowing, uh, make sure the baby doesn't have to come early. I'm gonna FaceTime, or she's gonna FaceTime me here in just a minute and I'm gonna record it. Uh, and then I will show you guys what it looks like. All right, let's see what my girls are up to. Oh. Hello. Hi. We are waiting for the doctor. Okay. Okay, so, All baby, right. baby. Here we go. So there's a head way down here. Huh? This is all the baby's brain and head, so it's in a very, very, very good position. You said it's in a good position? Yeah, it's head down. Where Perfect. You want it to be. So when you go and uh, go through labor and dilate, the first thing there is the head. I'm getting five pounds, three ounces. You can see as they scratch, the red is average. We're not below that dotted line. Below the dotted line means it's way too small. You still have much left, so the baby could be another one and a half pounds or so. Oh, this is like a 3D one. Yeah, it's right under that. So what is yeah. I can see the nose really well. <laughs> That's about all. She's right under, yeah, right under her arm. Yeah. Well, she's plastered up against the uterine wall. Oh, okay. So there's no space. She just yeah. has to be there. Doesn't mean anything bad. You can see her kind of sucking the fluid. Yeah, she's a always sucking the fluid. Yeah, she's always doing that every time. <laughs> I, I know. That's funny. Yeah, she's always sucking the fluid. I know. That's funny. So it's getting close, but not where my wife is gonna deliver. But the baby is getting bigger. And so let's check in on my wife and see how she's doing right now. Oh, I'm in my onesie. <laughs> I'm in my favorite onesie. That is let's see this onesie. The most comfortable onesie <laughs> that I can wear. I right put on now. her socks. Yeah, you have to. I can't do it anymore. Sure. I'm feeling so much pressure in my lower abdomen, especially when I need to pee. It's just like a bowling ball. Putting pressure on your bladder is how it feels. Then it's like hard to walk. So that's like a new feeling. Kind of new, I mean, but like more intense, I guess. Come here for a second. Did I waddle today? <laughs> Look at how cute this is. Did I waddle today? No, you did not. Just a, maybe a little. Yeah. And I walk like a mile per hour, right? Yeah. Two miles an hour. That's how slow I am. But you're cooking more. I have been cooking a lot Because I'm not cooking. Friday, we're going to go in and we're going to do another non-stress test. And now yeah. we're going to go twice a week. Yep. We so. have to go twice a week because we have to make sure everything's good with the baby, which we believe that it is. But... Extra precaution. Yeah, I'm not really worried about it. If she comes on Friday, then she comes on Friday. But that's, yeah. we're prepared. We packed and everything. So anyway. Okay. Say good night. Good night. Good night. See you guys later. Let's see what my wife is up to. Putting her on the spot right now. Putting on makeup. I didn't want to, but I feel like I should. What is today? New Year's Eve. Happy New Year! Doing nothing this year but putting makeup for the couch. For the couch. You want to look good room. for the couch. And for me. Yeah. And for the living room. Yeah. Alright. 
Come back to you later. Right, I got out of my robe and I got some makeup on and I'm in my cardigan and in some leggings. You look nice. That's, thank you, so do you. And it's a New Year's outfit, New Year's Eve outfit. Did Jamie tell you what he was wearing? I'm wearing um, All Saints with All Saints jeans and some nice, comfortable yeah, those look nice. whatever. Okay. I'm about There's to put my... socks on your feet because you can't bend over. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to do that for you. There's my bra on the table. <laughs> Keeping it okay. real. Okay. Right, Got ready for on. nothing. Okay, I'm going to put the socks Today on. He tried to. Yesterday, this is how I put the socks me. on. I was like, okay. He's like, all right. That's it. See ya. I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> the most annoying thing is like when you know you put your sock in. this I mean, you when it's like it, this yeah <laughs> and that's what he did to me yesterday and the line it wasn't aligning with my toes and you feel it when it's not aligned so it's so so annoying and it's trying to purposely okay let's do the other sock <laughs> annoy me so here we go. It's freezing. Did I know. Turn I, turn, I turn the heat on. Yeah, because it's really cold. Yeah, it's been cold. I'm excited to celebrate this Ooh. New Year's with you and our baby girl. I know. How's that? Does that work? Good. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, so this is our New Year's Eve takeout order. So I got myself my favorite rigatoni. Um, we have some heirloom tomatoes right here. This has like sherry vinaigrette and onions and some cheese. I don't know what this is. Is this lasagna? Chicken parm. Oh, it's chicken parm. So, oh, where's the rest of it? I guess I'm assuming that's the rest of the chicken parm, which looks really yeah, good. Okay, we got some meatballs in here. Then we got some bread, some more bread. And then we got this, what is this platter? Stuff that I can't really eat right now, but I'll eat the olives. So that's our New Year's Eve takeout dinner. Hello. Okay, so it's recording. Here we are in labor and delivery, and we're doing a, a non-stress test, or NST is what I'm learning. And here is my wife. How you doing over there? I'm good, it's cold. Cold? Yeah. Do you wanna to explain to everybody what's happening here? We're just monitoring her heart rate and her movements, just to see how she's doing. I think last time we told them that we had, she had like two decelerations, so now we just have to come back and monitor those. So here's the monitor that we're looking at, and the top part is her actual heartbeat, and we're looking for any decelerations to make sure that um, everything is good. If there is a deceleration, that's... I guess alarming to them if it's if it's consistent, but we haven't seen any, which was which is good. And the bottom part, in the green, that's her activity. And oh no, that's your contractions, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so far so good. And mom is doing good. She's hooked up here. She always is active when they have the belts around her. I don't think she likes it. I don't think she likes it either. I think it constricts her space and she's oh. like trying to push it I think off. she's moving. Yeah, that's what I, she, she always moves a lot when these belts are on her. It's like she's trying to push it off. Yeah. And we're at 36 weeks right now, so three, four more weeks to go and she'll be here and we can't wait. We're excited. This is my only time that I can be here for the non-stress test because of COVID. They were nice enough to let me come in today, which was awesome. This will be the last time she's got to come, I think a 
couple more times, and then we expect to deliver. January 26th is the target date. We'll see what happens. I was asking them, like, what can I do to make her fluid, like, increase, but it's not really up to me, right? <laughs> okay, so am I going to stay overnight? Okay. Okay, thank you so much. So what's going on? What'd you say? We have to stay overnight. At least 48 hours. Wow. Well, so, because her fluid is too, is like low. Okay. But I think they're going to give me IV. Okay. Well, you know what? We're ready. We're ready for this. Oh, baby, it's okay. It's okay. Everything's going to be. Don't feel sad. Don't feel sad. Everything's okay. It's perfectly okay. Just like there's nothing I can do to keep her fluid. I wish. But maybe she said the IV might help. Well, that's good. It's good enough. She just wants to monitor. Yeah. Well, that's good. Well, we're ready for this. We packed everything. We brought everything. So we're good. I love you. Love you. Can you tell them that we're staying overnight? No. Yeah, I cried. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> what's going on? Nothing. Just eating pink berry. <laughs> so, thankfully, you got a negative COVID test, so that was good. And now we're just staying here for extra precaution. Doesn't mean we're going to have the baby, but... But we might. True. I'm going to show everybody what uh, I went home to get. <laughs> So we have this other boppy pillow. We've got, um, what is this thing right here? It's the, Mom. Oh, the yeah. Frida gown. We've got blankets. We've got shoes for me. We've got our luggage over here just in case. And then we have more stuff here. And then I will probably end up sleeping right here. We have a view, but it's dark, so I don't know what the view looks like. And here's the room. Mm -hmm. And here's my lovely wife with our beautiful baby girl. Well, I'm excited for the news, so that's exciting. So um, if this is the best approach and us doing another ultrasound, so uh, check the food one more time? they're not going to check the food one more time. She's saying the specialist, they agree that it's not going to make a difference if they check one more time pretty much where it's at where it's at. Their opinion, based on your track record, is that it's better if the baby comes out. She's ready. She's ready. She's ready. She's ready. <laughs> She's ready to come see us, so, okay, perfect. All right, well, I feel better talking to you about that because, you know, I just wanted to make sure. Okay, all right, well then, we'll start preparing. Thank you, Dr. Trejo. Sorry, oh, you're sleeping. Oh, FaceTime. Sorry, I should have just called you. No, no, it's okay. They're gonna induce me today. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Baby's coming. That means you. Hey. Yeah. We have about an hour. It's crazy. We have an hour to kind of get ready, and at least it's like on our time, but they're gonna move us to another room, a bigger room, and, uh -huh. um, you know, they'll start the process. Oh, it's going well. So we're, uh, we're here at the hospital and it's go time <laughs> yeah it's exciting yeah so i think what they have decided is that they're going to induce her today um, they're giving us time so that's nice all right so we're inducing here we go you ready we already started with the pill now we're doing the balloon all right, Mama, so you're going to lay down on your back again. Um, take your, you have underwear on? No. No. <laughs> and then we're going to, you like the bed broken down, right? You yes. Said? Yes. This will be like a practice run for when we have the baby. This is everything we'll do. We're going to break down the bed and put your legs up in stirrups, okay? Okay. You okay? You, know. you want me to hold your hand this time? That pain was crazy. But... Oh, I know. I think you'll do great. Okay. Yeah, I've got to do it. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly it. <laughs> she wants to see us. 
She's yeah. ready. Do I lie down now? Yes. Oh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. That's okay. I thought, I thought we were breaking the bed down. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, we'll do it after. Yeah, we'll get it when you get in bed. Okay, good. So what I'm going to do, yep, yeah, you can lay down and put up these little foot pedals here. And I'm going to put you pretty flat for this one, okay? Just because mm -hmm. it's a little bit further back, it'll be easier for Dr. Trejo. Tell me when, Dr. All the way if you can. It might hit the table. All right, so we put a balloon in to start the inducement. Wait, you took a, you took a you pill. Took a induce pill for induce. She took a pill to induce and then they put the balloon in to help the process even further and the baby did not like that at all. She was having a ton of contractions. We had a lot of, of the nurses come in the room. It got really serious really quick and, and a lot of excitement but also it was pretty scary at the same time. It was just a lot of action and then we had to get an epidural uh, to calm everything down. So baby's coming. And let's see, let's check in on Mama and see how she's doing. How you doing, Mama? Is I better. You feel much better? You had yeah. the shakes for a while. Yeah, that before was... the epidural actually, which is weird, I feel like. But I think um, when I saw the nurses and what what did they do? They were just checking your blood pressure. Yeah, the nurses came in and then... They gave me the shot on my arm. Yeah, that was to help calm everything down. Yeah, and then like two other nurses came in was like looking at the monitors and I'm like, that's when I started shaking. But we were able to get the baby to calm down. Everything's back to normal thanks to the epidural, which you feel, how? How do you feel I right feel now? I feel better. Now you're just gonna relax until yeah. it's time to bring out the baby. Yeah, trying to take a nap and relax. I love you. When I can. Love you too. So we have an update. <laughs> yeah, you tell them. <laughs> you tell I'm them. Five centimeters. Five centimeters. And I have a lot of pressure in my butt. They took the balloon out, which is good. And now we just wait for the baby to come. Five yeah. to six centimeters dilated. So we're working on getting to 10 and we should be there soon. Yep, sorry. I'm like, but um, you're reaching out to it's family faster, and telling everybody. It's going faster than anticipated, which is good. So I put the balloon in me and I don't think that they thought it was usually it's in there for like 12 hours. It was only in there for like five. The baby's going to be in call. I know, sorry. Lots of pressure, hon. I know. When you feel that again, though, I'm gonna you can try push, okay? Okay, can you tell me what to do? Yeah, we're, we'll guide you. Uh, I'm shivering. Oh, no. I know, that's all normal. Okay, it's coming. Okay, it's got, okay, so we're gonna grab behind your leg, yeah? Yeah, hold back. It's okay. Uh -huh. Take a big deep breath in. And Curl up and push. Like all in your bottom. Yeah. Push like you're pooping. Hard, hard, hard. Four, ten seconds, seven, eight, Ten. You're amazing. Oh, you don't need to? Okay. Hard, hard, hard. Yes. Come on. Three, yes. four, like that. Yes. five, oh, six, yes. 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 You can do it. Eight, nine, ten. Blow it out. Oh, you're a little cutie. You are fast. Thank you. I'm just going to take this hand. Have you hold this for a second? Can you get your bed together? Thank you. This is perfect. Are you touching me? Are you touching me? Are you tired? Are you tired? Huh? And we have a baby. I know. How do you feel? Emotional. Yeah. I'm happy. It's okay. Is she cold? You gotta cover, maybe cover her hands because she, she likes the blanket over her hand, I think. She's so soft, huh? Yeah, she's very soft. So good. Alright, so day two. And we are here with baby girl and mama. There she is. 
So right now she's breastfeeding, so we can't really show the baby, but we are healthy. Baby's healthy. Everything's good. Uh, yesterday was crazy. Mama over here went through an amazing, amazing day of... Yeah, it was crazy. Induction. Induced. They induced me. So my body responded really well to all the inducing like the pill and the balloon um and so i dilated quickly in just like what four hours or something or less and then i pushed for 15 minutes and she came which was absolutely fast. incredible but amazing the, but that i was watched after, the whole thing <laughs> but that was after like all these things you know and like being poked and prodded and all these things that you weren't expecting. We did not, not expect at all. any of that. At one point, I had a balloon tube, two balloon tubes coming out of my vagine down there, and then a catheter tube coming out of there at the same time. Jamie and I are so mesmerized. Yes, we are. Like, literally, more than obsessed, you know? It's right. just can't stop staring day number three i think it's day number three i don't know what day it is <laughs> um we're exhausted we haven't really slept um we're tired it's part of the process um but we love our baby girl she's amazing she's beautiful so much so much and here we have this one <laughs> how are you doing look I at look what's going like on I'm over here really bad shape. <laughs> let me go a little lower so uh. i don't show everything well, my boobs are engorged. Remove that salad out of the way. Yeah. If you can. <laughs> Slowly. I'm laughing now, but I was like huffing and puffing and groaning earlier because they're so engorged and they just needed to be like pumped or breastfed. But I have ice on me to just help with the pain and the swelling. But you're doing um, an amazing job. Wonderful job, breastfeeding. Whew. You know, I mean, people would talk about breastfeeding, like people have quit, people just... Can't do it, they can't It's such a hang. hard job, it's, it takes over your life, it's exhausting, and I mean, I get it now. We had to get the car seat uh, because our baby's on the smaller side and for us to take her home, because we're checking out today, they have to do all these tests. Uh, it takes about 90 minutes is what they've told us. Uh, but they had to take baby Presley. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they're testing her in the car seat. So, um, yeah, we're just waiting on that. Then we're going to check out. We're ready to go home. Look at her. She's beautiful. Hi, Presley. Oh, that's our baby. Our sweet baby girl. And we're going home. Are you ready to go home? Here we go. <laughs> We have so much going on. All right, Ugh, here okay. we go. Well, hello. <laughs> we are here and we're doing this thing. We're doing it. It's night two at home with the newborn. She's right here. She's sleeping though. We'll, yeah. we'll show her at the end. But I think more importantly, we wanted to talk about what it was like, the process. I mean, we, we filmed a whole bunch of it, but we didn't film last night because we were exhausted. It was just... Oh my God, it was such a long day at the hospital and like, right? Yeah. We went through kind of a lot the day that we were leaving. Yeah, there was a lot that was going on. Um, just trying to figure everything out. Just trying to be confident that we could raise our daughter and, and we'd be fine. At the hospital, we had a tremendous amount of help and it was nice. And then it was, it was nice, but it was also like crazy because you get, like people are knocking in your door nonstop at the hospital and you just want to rest. And, yeah, we'd want to I mean, sleep and she, everyone would come in. Let's check on the baby, let's check on the mom, let's check on, well, not me really, because I'm just there. <laughs> 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 it's not about me anyway. But I mean, it's good. It's good things. But even with that, it was like timing everything and between breastfeeding and, and her and making sure she had all her fluids and food and all her test, hearing test, testing for her heart. We're just very happy that we have a healthy baby. That was, we were, ha we were happy about that. 
I can tell you that night number one, it was hard, but it was also exciting that we were home. I think actually I was happier that we were home because it was home and I didn't feel like I had so many nurses come knocking on the door and I felt like we could go at our own pace and if I messed up with swaddling, it's okay. I can take my time swaddling again and not feel pressured and... and mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Today seems very like calming. Like I feel like night two at home is like, I feel like we already kind of got it down a little, right? Yeah, yeah. She's up for about 30, 45 minutes uh, for, to feed, to feed maybe and maybe change a diaper, hang out for a quick minute, and then she's back to bed. Yeah, and she's so far like a good sleeper and a good eater. So we'll keep you uh, updated on our journey. Um, this is day two, day one. Like I said, we got in last night and we were just exhausted. Okay, well, we'll keep you updated. You oh, soon? you know what? Let me, sh let me, oh, yeah. I'll show you. I'm gonna show you guys a little peek. There's mom, there she is, look at her. Look at all that hair. She's tucked in a little bit. So cute. So cute.